I, I would like to praise your um, insistence in, in, in delivering this uh, 80, I think, uh, meeting of the, of the JPC. It's good that before the election we could resume the work because uh, uh, to resume the work of the JPC means uh, at least there are some spaces to, uh, to work together in a very gloomy uh, general uh, uh, environment in our uh, relations. And thank you again, uh, Ambassador uh, Mehmet Kemal Bosai. It has been a pleasure to, to work with you, even if, as you know, uh, we have a lot of differences between the European Parliament and, and the Turkish authorities. Uh, your work has been very professional, very open, very friendly, and I think this is needed to try to maintain to maintain the rules, and, and, and I, I would like to, to convey to you our wishes that your, your coming um, uh, diplomatic uh, policy could be of hell, whatever it uh, it be. Um, I would like to convey some information to the colleagues on the report. The report was already on the verge of not happening because the elections in June, but now that has become clear that elections are going to happen in May, most probably it's clear that we are not having the report. Not only because there is a rule that we have to withdraw or to stop drafting the, the general report when the elections are called, but um, because even in this very, very pre-electoral environment, we don't want, I think we agree with me, we don't want to to launch uh, on the table a document that could be used in the pre-electoral arena. Anyway, um, I conducted my first visit to Ankara recently. I met uh, the political parties and institutional stakeholders. And now I'm, I'm having in February a second visit more devoted to, to civil society in, in Istanbul. I think we have to, to send the message, the authorities, the parties, the civil society, we are engaged, even if uh, now it's clear we are not having the formal report because it's going to enter, or to be approved at the end in, in, in the middle of the electoral uh, struggle. The main message I would like to convey to anyone with the report is the accession process is not going to endure in this situation another two or three years. It's impossible. It's so cynical to have an accession process designed not to achieve any kind of target, but to maintain eternally as a kind of framework of the relations that I think if things, whatever happened in the election, I don't think, um, this is not about if there is a political change, things are going to happen. Whatever happened in the election, if there is no a dramatic change of mood in Turkey, the accession process is not going to endure. Full stop. And we have to look for another format of our relation. I would like really that if there are significant political changes, whatever is the government, the future government, and there is a real will to regain uh, 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 the mood to, to start engaging really with the principles of, of and values of the European Union, uh, I would like really to come back to the, the former uh, situation and to defreeze the, the accession. But uh, I think we really need dramatic changes in, in the couple of years ahead. Um, this was and is a political message I would like to, to send with the report, but I'm, 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 I'm saying that publicly. I did it in, in Ankara. Uh, the situation in, in Turkey regarding human rights and rule of law is worse than ever. The problem with Turkey is not, Turkey is not an uh, immature democracy uh, with, with uh, a stopping uh, at a level. The problem with Turkey is we knew all a better Turkey from the democratic point of view, and this is a complete step backwards. In every occasion, in every period that you studied in the last six years, it's always the same trend. And in the last weeks, we have been Kavala's uh, endorsements of the Imamoglu's case, Fincanci, the bank accounts of the HDP, not one single good news. 
And we have to simply uh, remind our, our Turkish colleagues that whatever is the geopolitical role of Turkey in any way that could be used as a bargain chip in the accession process. The accession pro process is about to be a democracy. The other thing is to our partner in security, in, in, in food security, in many other fields. But the accession process is a process based on values and principles. And we are not exchanging values and principles um, for other geopolitical uh, gains or, or, or assets. And I think it's, it's good to, to remind that because sometimes in, in Turkey say, because you need us, please don't bother us with Kabbalah, the militants, and so on. And, uh, well, this is, a, this is my mood, my personal mood. I to really hope that things can change after the election, whatever it is the result. And I'm happy to participate in the resume of the works of the, of the Joint PC, of the Joint Parliamentary Committee, because I think it's good to maintain every space of dialogue that we could have with uh, Turkish authorities and society.